If you are a veteran and you use medical marijuana, you just lost your Second Amendment right. Marijuana, you can't own a gun. That's what the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms says in a memo issued to gun dealers. But is this fair? Steve, let me start with you. Why do you have a problem with this? Oh, uh, where to begin? I mean, we have a situation where the ATF is making this decision and forcing patients to make a terrible choice, which is to either use the medicine that they need to alleviate their pain legally under state law or abandon their Second Amendment rights to bear arms and protect their families. This is a choice that no other patients are forced to make, and it's unfair that medical marijuana patients are being forced to make it. Hi, I'm Mike Barber from Top Gun Shooting Sports, president of the company. And when we are selling firearms, uh, some of the questions that come out up is regarding how to answer a particular question on the uh, ATF Form 4473 regarding the uh, use of marijuana and whether you're addicted to it or not for medical marijuana card holders. Um, we've looked into this and we've uh, found out that the federal government does not recognize any use, uh, any legalized use of medical marijuana or the cards that are being issued. So if you have those, what you're doing is you are, as soon as you get that, you're giving up your Second Amendment rights to buy, possess, purchase ammunition or firearms. So if you're a hunter, if your grandma has the card, uh, lives in your house, you might be affecting your rights to own firearms um, if you have the medical marijuana card. And, and the state is not informing people of this either. When we contacted the state, they said it's your responsibility to figure this out. Um, so <clears throat> when the federal government doesn't recognize this, nobody's informing you, it's something you need to educate yourself on and make sure that you're not losing the rights that are important to you. Despite the fact that an increasing number of veterans are turning to marijuana as a much safer alternative to the traditional pills such as Valium or antidepressants that pharmaceutical companies ship off to patients without full safety trials, the government is taking your Second Amendment rights away if you use medical marijuana. This is fallout from Obama's gun control executive order signed on July 22, 2016. Conservatives knew that Obama would try some kind of stealth gun control before his term was out. Well, here it is. Today, the left of left Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that stripping medical marijuana patients of their Second Amendment rights does not violate the Second Amendment. Yeah, no, uh, my beef is in this case with the ATF. I mean, it, it is their interpretation, and I, I'm, I'm serious in the fact that the same statute says an unlawful user or someone addicted to any controlled substance. And if they want to make this interpretation, they can just as easily say that anyone who has an ongoing prescription to Oxycontin or perhaps any other drug is addicted to that drug, whether it's Ritalin or Lunesta or who knows what it is, but they will be addicted to a drug and ATF will say, we're sorry, we're going to take away your guns. And the NRA should be aware of this and should be doing something about it. I will do a much more detailed video about this issue soon, but I wanted to get the word out about this unconstitutional edict that was designed to begin abolishing everyone's Second Amendment rights, not just veterans. To my fellow veterans, if you do not vote Trump in November, we will lose everything. Our Second Amendment rights is just the appetizer. Hillary Clinton hates veterans. Think of all the money she could siphon away from our educational benefits and our VA disability payments. Tell me what you think in the comments below. This has been Patrick Hostas.